are now just 36 days away from the total solar eclipse, and there are some ways to get the most of your experience. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke to the American Astronomical Society Solar Eclipse Task Force on how you can enhance viewing the rare phenomenon. There are very few things in nature that'll top this. This year's total solar eclipse is catching eyes across the nation. People stop weeping and crying. It is, is such a phenomenal uh, experience. And there are ways you can make your experience even better. One popular talker is wearing reds or greens, depending on how much water vapor is in the air. As it gets dark enough, you switch from cones, which is your color vision, to rods, which is your night vision. And just at about that transition, reds are not seen as well. Greens and blue, especially blue, uh, is seen a little bit better. But it's a very minimal effect. What Dr. Mario Mata with the Solar Eclipse Task Force recommends is putting a white sheet on the ground. You'll see what's called shadow bands. And that's where uh, it looks like the bottom of a pool during sunlight where ripples go and they, they, they go across quite quickly. And it's phenomenal to see that. It's only in the last five minutes before uh, totality. You can also hold up a kitchen colander. And you'll see a whole bunch of crescents getting tighter and tighter uh, as you get closer to totality. Then during the very beginning of totality, you'll see an incredibly beautiful diamond ring effect. That'll get dimmer and dimmer in, in, over a couple of seconds and then switch to uh, Bailey's beads, which is the last little bit of rays uh, on the edge of the moon. Uh, and that's worth looking for. Dr. Mata says it's something you won't want to miss. The next one across the U.S. won't be till 2045. I'll be in a nursing home by then and hopefully someone will wheel me out, but <laughs> you won't forget it. For 6 News, I'm Sydney Deshawn. Now you can visit our website at kcentv.com backslash eclipse for more eclipse information.